Hello Virgos, welcome to Map to Love with Catherine Nicole. Thank you all for joining me. We are going to do a quick energy read on where you're at, the Divine Masculine, the Divine Feminine, either as you and your partner, or the Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine within you, because we all, no matter if we're men or women, we all have Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine energy, and I will encourage all of you to listen to this as yourself, for yourself, all of it, of the aspects of the energy within, and then, then listen to it for a partner. But take what resonates with you. Leave the rest. This is intended for the next three months. There, I did a North Star home reading. I think Virgo was like, the, it was the most viewed by Virgos, which I know because you're the healers. You're wanting to expand spiritually and it, it is about you. And you know that this life is about you and then sharing what you know and the healing and the love with others. So I encourage you to, to listen to that. I, I recorded it like three months ago, but time's an illusion. We know that. Um, again, if you did before or listen to it if you haven't because there's some information in their spirit saying that is going to be pertinent to now okay let's get started the star man tarot let's see where you're at virgo you yourself your energy okay the seven of pentacles in your energy the earth energy uh you know reflecting on what you've learned the progress that you've made it's like sitting on this field, you know, sitting in this field of abundance and it's almost ready to be uh, harvested. It's like harvest time is coming up pretty quickly. It's a, it's a very spiritual number, so you're connecting to this, the spiritual aspects of your life, learning from it, creating your reality, the castle in the sky with the law of attraction, focusing only on watering the seeds of your intention and the beauty around you, and appreciating what you actually do have, appreciating the new life is starting to sprout, that you're receiving physical manifestations, like tangible proof in the 3D of your work and dedication on yourself, and moving forward in the material world. This is a material abundance coming in, a gift coming in, being rewarded for some creative project or a job well done. But whatever seeds you've been nurturing, whatever you've been working on growing, whatever you've been thinking about, that's coming in to ready to be harvested. And so I think it's just a time of reflection, a time of appreciating what you do have and keep going. Like you're, you're like, okay, I'm going to take a pause. I'm going to take a rest. I'm going to appreciate because I know that's important. Uh, to take care of myself because that's the only way I can help others and then you're gonna then you're gonna move forward what's going on with the divine masculine look at that hanged man looking at things from a different perspective again that, that feeling like allowing yourself to stand still for a moment reflecting this is also a highly spiritual card with the seven highly spiritual number. So it's, it's, a, it's a highly spiritual time of, of evolution. And sometimes we do need to take a rest, Virgo, when we are evolving. We need that extra rest. We need that time out. We need to allow ourselves time to meditate and to heal ourselves. And it is a time for that. So the divine masculine is allowing themselves to heal see things from spirit's point of view and actually feeling very relaxed and having a good time doing it, having a great time with this information coming in, realizing how how beautiful life really is and looking at things from a different point of view is a good thing. So I feel like they're in a good kind of like fun resting energy. What about the divine feminine? Oh, here's that sword of truth. Look at that. Clarity coming came in. If it hasn't come in, it's coming, and it's coming strong. This feels like Archangel Michael is right with you, Divine Feminines, helping you with this clarity and truth, stepping into that Queen of Swords energy, very compassionate, but, all, you know, we have a big open hearts as Virgos, right? I'm a Virgo son. You're open, you're generous, you're giving of yourself, but now you're learning how to set boundaries. You've got that clarity and truth, and you're cutting very carefully and in a very loving, healing way. You're cutting out what's not serving you. You're cutting out the crap. You're cutting the cords of different relationships and situations that were not serving you and you're letting go and you're rebirthing into this new life like coming up with brand new beginnings with focus and that fire lit that passion lit within you to move charge forward with your truth charge forward after your dreams charge forward after these you know more pentacles and building yourself up in the material world and the spiritual world it's beautiful 
really a lot of clarity coming in and it is when we allow ourselves time to rest and we we pay attention to the signs and we open our heart and we open our mind and we clear out our third I, our third eye, maybe it's time to do a meditation, clear out your third eye, Virgo, so that you can receive this clarity and truth from the universe. And, and then I feel like you're charging forward um, in, a, in a very beautiful, happy, abundant way. What's being activated in the divine masculine with the sacred geometry cards? Look at that, authority. Yeah, I'm taking authority over my life. I'm taking ownership about the choices I've made and the experiences that I allowed myself to be involved in. I'm taking ownership on that. I'm taking authority. I'm standing in my power. Tens are about ending cycles for new beginnings. Also about physical manifestations coming in. Like I said, you're going to start getting the proof. Things are happening. Taking charge. This is very emperor-like energy. The frequency of authority reminds us that true authority is powerful, directed, and realized, yet receptive, wise, and loving. Yes, it's very balanced. The divine masculine is, like I said, taking the time out, appreciating what the masculine does have and what they have built up in the material world and what they know is going to come, the castle in the sky, and they're taking authority and, and taking going to take action. Once they receive this, you, the guidance that you need, divine masculine, you take action and you move forward. What's being activated with the Divine Feminine? Wow, empowerment. How cool is that? And the eight, the power of eight. I, I did a video on that um, on my birthday. You might want to check that out. It's, a, it's some cool messages in there, um, as well as some of the recent ones in the, the Journey of the Soul series. is a really great uh, messages in there if you haven't listened. But you're feeling empowered, Divine Feminine. It's your, you're, the ma you're the master manifester. It, eights are you know, the infinity sign, infinite possibilities, twin flames, soulmates coming together. The frequency of empowerment supports our ability to show up fully and completely, uniting us with others in a deep trust that we are all connected through the same source. Yeah, standing in your power. You've, look at this. You've got your truth and clarity. You know that you're abundant. You know that you're worthy. You know that you're on the right path. You know that spirit is blessing you and you know it's all in divine timing. And look at how this beautiful mirroring, the divine masculine is taking charge, is standing in their power, having authority over themselves and knowing that they can only control themselves and what they say and do and how they react and that everyone else has free will. The divine feminine is mirroring, standing empowered, standing in your truth, Divine Feminine, ready to speak your truth, ready to move forward in, in new beginnings with, um, with this Ace of Swords. I mean, you're ready. It's, you're feeling good. It's time. It's time to do this. It's time to move forward. I feel like the Divine Masculine, if you're in that hanged man, like it's, I feel for some the message is, okay, you're ready now. You've gotten enough. Yeah, you're having fun and you're relaxing, but it's time to take action. It's time to go for it because that's when you're going to realize your dreams. If you allow yourself to stay, 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 excuse me, I can't talk, suspended for too long, you know, you might miss an opportunity that's right in front of you. So it's time to take action is what I'm hearing. We're going to get a message from the wisdom. Okay, well, there's two, wisdom of the hidden realms, and we're just going to see which one I'm guided to, um, to read from. But it's the altar, priestess, preparation, prayer, and sacred ritual. Yeah, prepare. Prepare for this union. Prepare for your blessings. Prepare for your, allowing yourself to receive. Prepare. Write down what you want. Write down your ideas. Write down how you're going to move forward. Let go of what's not serving you. It's time. The time is now. Spirit's saying, prepare. Get ready to be ready because everything's going to change in a beautiful way. Take charge. Give your thanks. Ask and you shall receive. The sun dancers. Joyful activity. Celebration of life. Abundance. Yeah, rising above, seeing things from spirit's perspective. It's time to spread your wings and fly, rebirthing into this new life, floating through the changes, knowing that the changes that are happening in your life and the clarity you're receiving is for a better, higher reason, and that everything is working out for you in an even more beautiful way than you could ever imagine. Giving your thanks, connecting to the divine, listening to the guidance because it's going to help you move forward. I'm going to read the altar priestess. That's what I'm guided to do from the book. The stage is set and the world is waiting for you to take your place in sacred meditation and prayer. 
As your ally, the altar priestess brings the ritual of reverent interaction with the mundane world. You're being required now to see everything is sacred. All of life as a meditation and every action as a prayer of devotion. When you're able to perceive the world this way, your question will lead you to the appropriate answer. If all is sacred, how can anything be wrong? Ask how you can shift your consciousness to see your circumstances through the eyes of the divine, and you will realize how perfect and sacred everything is right now. Beautiful. I'm wishing you many blessings. I appreciate appreciate all of you and the support on my channel and um, I look forward to hearing from you very soon.